and then the obtuse uh, side will be uh, on the top. top because over here the air sac mm -hmm. is we'll examine it then first of all we need oh sorry sorry, sorry. my burner later i will not do it in oh, so. so the burner we need the burner well so first of all we clear the zone where we work. This is familiar. This is the alcohol. And iodine solution. And in real laboratory, they not only otherwise it will be contaminated with the microbes on the surface in real laboratory they just take the flame and but yeah. burn it in now take the disinfectant so like this so when it is now cleaned I may do the with a Sterile, equip, sterile, everything is sterile. Mm -hmm. I may do a whole book. Very, very small hole mm -hmm. mm -hmm. inside of which, inside of which, I may put a little bit more. Inside of which I may put the uh, syringe, yes, uh, I will not sterile. open it, or sterile, <laughs> sterile pipette. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very thick one. Yeah. I need to open it more. Uh -huh. This one. Mm -hmm. well, the virus containing material. <laughs> and it is just put inside on chorion allantoid membrane like this. This is disinfected like this. We'll open it. This is then it is covered with a paraffin or parafilm. It is uh, just melted on the flame and mm -hmm. I may Come put in. over here oh. then it is put into incubator, incubator. for a necessary period. I'll open it, I'll not do it mm -hmm. really. So I'll close now because we are not really working with it. Pretty and deep. I'll just <laughs> yes. Yes. I want just to show you what is inside. So you know how inoculation occurs. Yeah. In different positions maybe. Yeah. I'll open it now. Dinosaur. In such a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, over here is the place where I performed the yeah, inoculation the on chorion allantoic membrane. Yes. So I open it now widely, as it is never done really in reality, to show you all the components inside. So, you see this membrane? I'll take it a little bit. Oops. Over here is it. Membrane. Do you see? The membrane. Here is it. Membrane. Mm -hmm. Then, I'll open it now, this membrane. And inside, and inside you may see the vessels, vessels blood vessels, yeah. Yeah. blood vessels, and the yolk sac, yolk sac yeah. and this fluid, this is allantoic fluid, allantoic fluid. Now, I'll put it over here, and first of all, you will pay attention to the cavities. You see the membrane, the membrane, <gasps> this is yolk sac. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, no, baby. Over here, the amniotic cavity, 
and the body inside with a very very large you see eyes. Eyes. eyes it's eyes, uh -huh. eyes. 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 i'll put it in such a way in order not to break the the cavities uh -huh. So, now you may see, you may observe all the cavities that we mentioned, the blood vessels and the body of the embryo. Over here, it is now uh, in the cavity, it is not destroyed. You may say, Ellen Toic is destroyed, that's why the fluid is now in the petri dish. Over here, the yolk cells. Is it moving? Is it moving? Is it alive? No, it's alive. Of course, alive. Hello. 